Static electricity. What is it? Well, it's basically any electrical charge that gets built up on an object's surface. For example, I'm an object, you're an object, so static electricity can also build up on us. But static electricity might not be as simple as you think. In fact, it's a phenomenon that occurs when positive and negative charges aren't equal at all. Here, take this for example. First, we need to statically charge an object. Go ahead and make your jokes. I'm looking forward to them. Once we have an object all charged up, we can move it towards a steady stream of water from a faucet. It'll actually attract the water towards it. By rubbing the plastic pipe with some nylon or wool, we actually cause tons of electrons to build up in various places along the pipe. Since electrons carry a negative charge, they actually attract positive charges. There's plenty of that in the water, so it almost turns itself into a water magnet. Here's another super easy and fun one to do. Get out a bunch of pepper and draw a big line with it. Then, charge up your pipe again. Take your time. After you're done, hold it near the pepper and you'll see that it starts bouncing towards it. This actually works for the same reason the water was attracted in the first place. The pipe is now negatively charged. The pepper is positively charged. They're going to attract. Let's try another. This ugly looking container is what's known as a Leiden jar. Leiden jars allow us to literally capture static electricity and store it for later. By rubbing our charged pipe against the metal, we're actually sending energy inside the container for safekeeping. When we feel like making a withdrawal, we merely need to touch the grounded wire to the top of the spoon. The invention of the Leiden jar really opened up the world of electricity. Here's how to build one. We're gonna take a container and fill it up with water. It doesn't need to be all the way to the top. Halfway is probably good enough. Put in some salt as it'll help the water conduct electricity just a little bit better. Make sure you stir it up. You want it to dissolve as much as possible and then close the lid. We're going to put a hole in the top and then we're going to put our spoon through that hole. The spoon is going to act as our first electrode. Once that's done, we'll put some tin foil on the side. This is going to act as our ground. Now what we've essentially created here is a very basic capacitor. It's going to literally store energy inside. Now how do we get that energy in there? As you probably guessed, we need to charge up our pipe again. So let's get to it. And we're gonna rub the charged pipe across the electrode at the top. Do this several times, and you will be able to produce a spark. Now imagine if you did this on a much larger scale. So it seems like static electricity might not have been exactly what we thought it was. But hey, that's cool. We learn something new every day. We'll see you next week.